Hey, what's up stringlings? Today we're going to check out the brand new DJP 1000 jazz guitar from Donner. Let's check it out. As you're probably aware by now, I'm a big fan of the Donner guitars. Uh, I love their electrics, they're just phenomenal. Uh, recently I did a giveaway with one of their acoustics. Again, phenomenal instrument. And uh, they keep putting out these really high quality electrics that I think are kind of a bit of a threat to uh, a lot of the sort of standard manufacturers. Um, this one is the uh, DST-152, one of my favorite strap models, and they've really kind of leaned in on this particular feature, which is splitting this bridge pickup on the, on the 152 and the 400, both of which, by the way, are phenomenal guitars. The 400, up until recently, the DST-400 has been their top-of-the-line guitar. Well, they just recently released, um, really, I think this summer-ish, came out with the DJP, which I have the right number, yeah, DJP-1000 Electric, which is this. Okay, it's clearly built on the uh, the Gibson or, or Epiphone um, 335 model, and... As you can see on the headstock, maybe you can make it out, it says Jazz. So this is their Jazz model. This is their top of the line guitar model right now. And it is stunning. It is absolutely stunning. In fact, right now, as I'm as I'm recording this, it's listing um, on Amazon in Canada at $479.99. This is, I think, the most expensive guitar they make. And for very, very good reason. It's still about half the price of an Epiphone but it does things that the Epiphones don't do. And we're gonna check this out. Now, before I get into the, the nuts and bolts of it, I do want to point out that a lot of times we see these guitars, these 335 styles, um, build as jazz guitars. And that's an interesting concept, I think, because when you think about it, this is, this is the model, not this particular one, but this is the model that we associate with Chuck Berry, right? B.B. Uh, King. Chet Atkins, Alex Lifeson from Rush plays one of these. Um, so right off the bat, we've got rock and roll. We've got um, we've got blues, of course. BB King is known to play a 335. Um, Chet Atkins playing country and some finger style jazz. Um, Alex Lifeson doing progressive rock. So to pigeonhole a guitar like this, uh, I think is a little bit of a challenge because it is clearly flexible enough to play in all kinds of styles. Um, I haven't played metal on one of these, but you know, I guess you could if you if you wanted to. Uh, when I think of jazz guitars, I think a little bit more of something along this line. This is my Ibanez Art Core, um, and uh, it's outfitted with heavier gauge strings, and we'll get to that in a moment as well. So, you know, you're not restricted if you're not a jazz player, but you like playing rock classic rock, anything like that, this guitar will fit the bill, um, and it's beautiful to play. I did no setup on this guitar out of the box, just like the 400, the DST 400, no setup out of the box, it just plays well right away. They have not skimped on any of the details here, I, I have to say, just really a stunning instrument. So I got the one in the cherry finish. It also comes in black. Uh, I have found that my black guitars tend to attract a lot of fingerprints and they're a little bit harder to keep clean. So I went with the cherry finish, just a little bit easier to, to touch up and clean. The main difference that you'll find in the feature is the cutaway or the um, pick guard, sorry, is slightly different shape from what you get in the Gibsons and the Epiphones, which tend to trim down kind of in this direction. Um, but that's kind of the main styling difference, I think. The Casino, uh, sort of the popular Epiphone variety of this body type, the cutaway starts somewhere around the 16th fret, and this one starts way down here around the 20th fret, so it gives you a little bit more access to the upper frets, which is great. Um, it comes pre-strung with D'Addario strings, which, again, that's a... a I'm going to call it a luxury feature for Donner. The only other place I've seen the D'Addario strings... Um, is on the DST 400. So this is in the same kind of um, price range and the same kind of level as the as the DST 400, uh, just in, in terms of the detail work. The fret work is immaculate. There's There are no sharp fret ends at all, all the way up the fretboard. It's perfect. 
Um, I put the gauge on it. The neck is straight. Uh, the intonation is perfect. The the um, the action is set exactly where it needs to be. Uh, I would say, uh, just in terms of the setup, for a jazz guitar, if you're going to play jazz on it, the 10 gauge strings are a little on the light side. It's great for rock and blues. It's already set up for rock and blues in that kind of uh, 10 gauge uh, string category. This one here has uh, an 11 gauge um, half, what do they call it, half round or yeah, half round string set. So we don't get as much squeak from the coils on the strings. Um, it's a little bit more set up for jazz, hard to bend on, but you don't really bend a lot in jazz. And this one, uh, again, with the lighter gauge strings. I might try a different setup with this uh, using heavier gauge strings, but I, I gotta tell you, I love playing blues on this instrument. Okay, so uh, again, you know, just running down details, the one area where this beats the Epiphone for sure, for sure, is the fact that it includes two split coil pickups. So it's got humbuckers in both positions, but both positions have a push-pull pot that will split the coil. And because you've got a three position switch, you can actually combine your coils. So you can have a humbucking bridge position with a single coil in the neck, right? Or reverse that humbucking neck position with a single coil in the bridge. And you can do this combined or individually. Uh, it's just a really, really cool feature. Um, and one that I, I find anytime you can do that on a guitar, uh, it just increases the flexibility of it as a working instrument. Some guitars, um, I have their, their metal guitar, and uh, you, you don't need it, right? It doesn't, it doesn't provide any advantage, so it's just an extra feature. Uh, but other guitars, like uh, the DST line and this one, uh, having that gives you a little bit of extra tonal variety that you can kind of add in. So uh, enough yakking. Let's go ahead and play... Oh, I, this also... Another detail, sorry, before I forget. Uh, this is a neck through body, hollow body design. So the neck actually goes through, see it's just trimmed here with a little bit of, um, uh, with, with the binding, but the neck goes through the body and then the top is put on. So the pickups and the bridge are mounted to uh, basically the neck block. So you get that little bit of extra sustain, a little bit of extra resonance through the body. It is a full hollow body uh, on, on either side of that neck block. And this neck block goes all the way through the body. They've perfectly finished the inside of the body so you get full resonance. It's just an absolutely, I, I, I'm hesitant to say, but as close to a perfect guitar as you're going to get in this price range. It's, it's a stunning instrument. So let's go hear what it sounds like. We're going to do cleans. Uh, through the ML Sound Labs um, Humble Amp. Again, one of my favorite clean tone amps just for that warm uh, kind of tube sound that you get from the Dumble style amplifier. And I'm not using any of the overdrives on that one. Uh, for the overdrive stuff, uh, just to give you a sense of what it sounds like in more of a, a blues context, I'm using the Neural DSP Tone King Imperial Mark II plugin. Uh, and uh, that's, again, just one of my favorite kind of vintage sounding apps uh, and one that uh, costs a lot more in the real world than it does on the laptop. So let's check out some tones from this guitar and see what we get. <laughs>
So that, folks, is the DJP-1000 from Donner. A beautiful instrument to play. It feels great. Uh, it's not a shredding instrument. It is really a melodic instrument. It does a great job with chord comping, uh, and it just has a really nice, full, rich tone. Uh, it's a dream to play on. It just feels fantastic. It feels like a real, like a real guitar playing experience, and I think that's... Um, that's a big part of it, right? We, we don't just go on tone by itself. It has to feel like something you want to play. And honestly, uh, this is another one that since I got it, I have a hard time putting it down. That's actually a little bit distracting. I'm not going to lie. Um, but uh, get yourself one of these. My affiliate link is down below. And if you're watching this before Christmas, there are some discounts available. So make sure you check for those uh, discount codes in the, uh, in the description box as well. And in the meantime, if you enjoy this kind of content, be sure you like this video and remember to subscribe. Um, but also in the new year, we're going to be filming some lesson content, uh, particularly geared towards people with a little bit less experience in terms of effects and guitars. And that's going to be available to members. So consider becoming a member of the channel. You'll get all kinds of exclusive content that isn't available to the public. Uh, and that's going to be rolling out starting in January of 2023. So I hope I see you on the inside. And in the meantime, have yourselves a fantastic day.